lofty gallop, gallop. Uh, Leo, I'm a crane, not a racehorse. Uh, then gallop in top gear. Hi, Henry. We're here. <laughs> Howdy do, the horses. Jockeys, please dismount. That means jump down, Leo. I'm not a jockey. I'm a cowboy. Woohoo! Well, builders and cowboys don't really mix. Leo, you'll be pleased that we're here to build extra stables for those horses we just saw. They're not just any horses, Bob. They're thoroughbred race horses. They're extra fast and extra nervous. I've been trying to catch them all morning. So please don't scare them again. Can he keep the noise down? Not really, Henry. But I don't want to hear beep beep in my yard, only clip clop. Well, now the panels are here, we can get started. Don't worry. You'll have your stables in no time. Good. It's the Spring City Sprint tomorrow. Those horses need a good night's sleep before the big race. Right then, team. Let's get started. Leo, you'll be unloading stable panels from Two-Ton. Yes, sir -y. Scoop and Lofty, you'll be holding the panels in position while Wendy and I fix them together. Muck, you'll be shifting straw bales. So... Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> Two ton. This yard ain't big enough for the two of us. Okay, Leo. I'm just gonna mosey on down that open road. Thanks, two ton. You're very welcome. And remember, forwards this time. Don't scare the clip clocks with your beep beeps. Gently does it. So. Just the roof section left to attach. That'll hold the whole structure firmly together. And I'm ready to make the horses' beds extra comfortable. If I ever manage to catch them to bring them in. Well, I don't know where Leo's got to, but we'll have to get on and fit the roof without him. Yee-haw! Right on, cowboy! <laughs> when you're ready, Wendy. Lofty, prepare to lower. OK. And lower. No, 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 no! I told you, please don't scare the horses! Oh, sorry, I forgot. This is a racetrack, not a road, Bill. Last stack of straw bales and we're done! Wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Where are my racehorses? Uh, they went that away. No, they're heading for the racetrack. I'll never catch them now. I think I know how to get those horses back. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. Partner, let's head them off at the pass. Hey, eh? Well, not you too, Bob. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. But Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. 
Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now, let's go. Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. Hi. Um... Uh... And they're in top gear! Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <laughs> Fast enough. It's not going to reach in time. <gasps> wow. I didn't know you grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. Huh? Well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing for it but hard graft and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Mug back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. Nowhere for them to sleep. Hang on, Bob. Yeah? <laughs> no, Pilchard, it's not for you. Good night, Muck. Night, night. Sleep tight. Make sure your brakes on right. <laughs> Thank you for giving up your bays for the night. You were right, Leo. Our machine bays are just like horse stables, just bigger. Yep. Three bays for three tired horses. Three buckets of oats and three buckets of water. Ah, I feel like a real cowboy now. Yeah. Look at us all sleeping under the stars. It's just like the Wild West. Well done, cowboy Leo. You made that into a real Wild West Roundup. But we did it. Those racehorses will sleep well in their new stables tonight. <laughs> They're not the only ones. Oh, I think the race is about to begin. Zal, my pony. Yippee This new 
new state-of-the-art penguin pool is going to be amazing. I think the penguins are really going to enjoy their new home. What penguins? I don't see any penguins. Where are the penguins? Be patient, Lofty. They're on their way. <laughs> They'll be here soon. Don't worry. Two tons bringing them over now. I hope everything will be ready when they get here. Of course it will be ready. Not much to do now. And what about Scoop and Leo? They won't want to miss seeing the penguins arrive. They'll be back shortly, Muck. Just as soon as they've finished the mayor's new fountain and pond at the town hall. So come on, team. Let's see if we can finish this job too. Most important visit, Mr. Bentley. Absolutely. And nothing can go wrong. And nothing will go wrong, Your Worship. That's what you always say, Mr. Bentley. But Mayor Snipe can be very difficult to please. We must make sure he enjoys his visit to Spring City. Don't worry about that. I've drawn up a list of all the exciting places around town where we can take him. There's no way he will fail to enjoy himself. I do hope you're right. What? With Mayor Snipe. He's here? Yes. Already? Yes, please be quick. I'll trust him to arrive early. Come on. <laughs> well, it looks like those two have a busy day ahead of them. <laughs> there. Well done, Leo. It's going to be great. Ready to start filling the pool. Where do you want this last rock, Bob? Uh. Over there, I think, Lofty. I can't wait for the pool to be finished and see those penguins splashing around in it. Not so fast, Lofty. <laughs> Steady now. Ooh, watch out! Oh, no. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just so excited about seeing the penguins. Uh, there's a nasty crack in the glass. We can't fill the pool with water till we get that fixed. It'll need a new window. I just hope we have time before the penguins arrive. Good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Bob. Where would you like these penguins? <laughs> Good question, Teuton. I'm afraid the pool isn't quite ready. Oh, dear. They're getting rather noisy back there. They shouldn't really stay in that crate much longer, Bob. Wow! What happened here? It was an accident. I'm so sorry. It's OK, Lofty, but we're going to need to find somewhere to keep those penguins happy whilst we're mending the glass. Um, Bob? What is it, Lofty? I think I know where we can keep the penguins. Somewhere they'll be safe and happy. What about the new fountain at the town hall? The one Leo's been working on? Oh, yes, it's perfect. Mayor Madsen is out all day. And you'll be finished here before she gets back. What do you say, Bob? I say, well done, Lofty. Let's go for it. Follow us, Tutan. Don't worry, penguins. You'll soon be splashing about without a care in the world. Right then, Wendy, Lofty, let's get fixing. Yes, Fixham Castle is a very fine example of medieval architecture. It's our oldest and most historic monument. Uh, do you have any ancient buildings in Riverdale, Mayor Snipe? Ancient buildings? I can't bear ancient buildings. A crumbling pile of old stones, if you ask me. Oh, well, yes, you have a point there, I suppose. Uh, but Spring City has some fabulous new buildings. And that's exactly what we want to show you next. Let's get the penguins out of that crate and into the water. There you go, penguins. <laughs> Delightful creatures. They're not 
not going to fly away, are they? Oh, no. They haven't got wings, you know. Those are flippers. They can swim, but they can't fly. They can hop by the look of it. They seem to like it, though. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as their new pool is ready, we'll take them back to the zoo. Perfect. As you can see, this magnificent stadium is Spring City's pride and joy. And home to some of our greatest sporting triumphs. I'm not very keen on sport. Lots of running about, jumping, kicking balls. Nah, not my thing. OK, right, you don't like sport. But I think we have something you definitely will like. We do, don't we, Mr. Brentler? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, this one is sure to be a winner. Here's the new window, Bob. Excellent. OK, everyone, we need to get those penguins into their new pool as soon as possible. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. to have missed one, Scoop. Oh, not that way. No! Stay away from the drive! Stop! Oh, it's lucky Mayor Madison isn't around to see all this. It's OK, Scoop. She won't be back for hours. As soon as that window's fixed, we can take these penguins back to the zoo. Whoa! Not over there. Hey, get back in that pond. Hey, you! Oh! Welcome to the Flying Saucepan. The finest food with the best views in Spring City. Can I get you a wee bite to eat? This building, it, it appears to be moving. Exactly. It's a revolving restaurant. A magnificent miracle of mechanical engineering. Fancy a plate of haggis and neeps. Ooh, I feel sick. Ooh. Oh, dear. Maybe we'd better cut short the visit and get you back to the town hall. Well, this visit has been a complete disaster. I thought you said nothing could go wrong. Maybe he would like an ice cream. Oh, I wish that penguin pool was ready. This reminds me of the time in Patagonia. What's going on here? Who is responsible for this disgraceful, this outrageous circus? I am so sorry for this fiasco, Mayor Snipe. Rock uppers? E excuse me. Rock up the penguins! Aren't they extraordinary? So lively and full of fun. What? Yes, very nice. How did you know that I love penguins? Um, uh, well, I... Um... And you laid on this wonderful treat just for me. Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. Uh-oh. Hi, Bob. Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh, right. And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of your visit. Oh, yes, please. I'd love that. Marvellous. Well, come on, everybody. What are we waiting for? I now declare Spring City's new Antarctic penguin experience well and truly open. This has been the best visit ever. Thank you so much, Mayor Madison. And thank you, Mr Bentley. Oh, well, that's... Uh... And thank you, Bob. Once again, you've saved the day. 
Mayor Townley is visiting next week. Really? I hear he likes elephants. What? Okay, get ready, and... Ah, Mayor Madison, we're all done. Your doors are no longer squeaking. We used a couple of drops of oil on the hinges, and now you are squeak-free. <laughs> Bob, we're trying to take a picture. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, everyone. Let's try again. Remember that this is going in the town hall newspaper. So give a big cheese. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Why is Mila going in the newspaper? She's appearing on the children's TV game show, Wizzer Quiz. If she wins, she'll win a trophy for Spring City. That's brilliant. Time to go to the TV studios. Now give me some Spring City Rockets luck. Go, Mila! <laughs> yeah! Go, Mila! Go, Mila! Ooh, 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 ooh! <clears throat> What's wrong? We wanted to be in the audience and cheer on Mila together, but we couldn't get tickets. I've just had a super-duper idea. Bob can build an outdoor movie screen at the sports stadium. Then everyone in Spring City can watch, all of us together, under the stars. Oh, but, but, Mayor Madison, the Wizard Quiz is tonight. Don't worry, Leo. I'm on it. Hey, guys, it's Bob. Hi, team. There's a build to be done at the sports stadium and the whole of Spring City is counting on us. OK, team, you heard Bob. Let's get to work. Just hold it steady, Lofty. There. Done. One square frame to hold the giant TV. So what's next, Leo? Hmm. Let me check. Yoo-hoo, Lofty! You'll never guess what happened. I had a super-duper idea for me and the Spring City Rockets to make banners. But now we need your help to hang them. Oh, I would love to. Marvellous! Come this way. Right, Lofty. Next, I need your help to attach one, two supports to the back of the frame. Uh, Lofty? Where'd he go? OK. I guess I can start building the support frames by myself, then. Wow! Look at the size of it! How big is the remote control? Actually, this TV doesn't have a remote control. My tablet will pick up a signal and send it to the TV. And then the TV show appears on screen. Wow! Here, let me show you. Have you forgotten your password again? Everyone knows that. It's, it's builder, builder number, number one. one! Oh, Bob. There. All the banners are hung. High five to that! Oh, uh, yes. Um, hi, uh, five. Thanks, Mayor Madison. You are so cool for thinking to make banners. Cool? Me? Well, then, how about another super-duper idea? We could have a popcorn machine. I'll call Chef Tatty and see if you could collect it, Lofty. right -oh. Can you help us, Lofty? Well, uh... Leo looks OK, so yes, of course I can help you. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Ah, oh, Lofty, thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the frames steady. Oh. I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. The TV should be working any moment now. 
The tablet's picked up the signal, but the picture's really fuzzy. How about now? Thank you, Dash Lightning. You Guys? from the green flying monster. That was nothing. What do I always say? With a boom, boom. zoom, zoom. Lightning, lightning strikes twice. Well, I guess the TV's working. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Yeah! Woo yeah! Anything else I can help with? How about a drinks machine? One of those slushy things. I'm on it. Back to Chef Tatties. Oh, well done, Leo. You finished the support frame all by yourself. Now all we need is the TV. Sorry, guys, but the TV needs to be switched off now. Oh, oh. Uh, Wendy, we need to take the TV to the stadium. Wendy? Bob, where have you been? We need to take the TV to the stadium. Now we have everything to cheer on, Mila. Thanks, Lofty. Ooh, that will be two ton with the giant TV screen. Lovely, get ready to lift the screen. And I'll make sure that Mayor Madison and the Spring City Rockets keep back. Okay, Lofty. Lift it up! Hold it, Lofty! Two-ton, move out. No problem, Bob. Lofty, really carefully, please, move the screen towards the frame. There. And finally, we can take away the scaffold towers. All looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! The supports are falling too! Don't worry, all help! Quick, everyone! Let's move to a safe distance! Now the frame is breaking! Leo, what happened? Why did the supports come away from the frame and why did the frame break? Uh, it wasn't Leo's fault, it was mine. I left Leo without any help because I wanted to help the Spring City Rockets instead. I am so sorry. But it is my fault. I should have never attempted such a big job by myself. Sorry, Bob. Oh, and I'm sorry too. I kept asking for Lofty's help. Wow, that's a lot of sorries and a lot to fix. So what are we going to do? People will be arriving soon to watch Mila. Wendy, call Muck and Scoop. We're going to need their help. Spring City Rockets and Mayor Madison, I need you to find something for people to sit on. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! And this time, Leo, I will make sure I'm there to help you. trophy for Spring City, here is your final question. What should you put on door hinges to stop them squeaking? Is it A, water, B, oil, or C, salt? I know. Bob used this on Mayor Madison's squeaky doors. The answer is B, oil. Correct! Yay!
all thanks to my squeaky doors. Um, Bob, do you think we could keep the TV in the yard? And whose idea was this? Wendy's. <sighs> Good morning, team. Morning, Bob. Morning, Bob. Now, I don't want you to get too excited. Why? What is it? What is it? The movie star Dash Lightning is filming a movie at Spring City Studios. Wow. Dash Lightning. They're having trouble finishing on time, so they have asked us to build the set for the final scene. That's Yay! amazing! This is the best job ever! I love Dash Lightning. The building materials are all at the film studios. All they need is us. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Dash Lightning, he's my hero. Mark, huh? are you coming? <laughs> I know everything about Dash Lightning. I even know his catchphrase. Zoom! Boom! Lightning strikes twice! Who knows, Muck? Maybe you'll get to meet Dash Lightning. Do you really think so? Oh, yeah! I'm gonna meet Dash Lightning! How exciting! Welcome, welcome, Carl Parker. I'm the film's director. And this is my movie storyboard. We draw out every moment of a scene so we know what to build and film. So, Dash leaps from the balcony, and then he flies through the air with sparks everywhere. <laughs> right. Well, uh, you don't have much time to build this set. Uh, we need to finish by the end of the day, because tomorrow Dash starts work on a new movie. So, can you build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Oh, I can't see Dash Lightning anywhere. Ah, Leo, can you help me put up the pyrotechnics? Pyro what? Pyrotechnics. We're going to use them to create the sparks for when Dash flies. Come on, I'll show you. <gasps> Wait! There he is. Dash Lightning! Yeah! Oh, no, he's going. I just have to meet him. OK, Leo. These are the pyrotechnic units. They light up and send sparks out. So how do we get them ready for filming the scene? If you look, all the pyrotechnic units are pointing up. That means the sparks will shoot up. If the units point downwards, it means the sparks would fall down onto the lights. And cause a fire. Exactly. But these units are all fine, so you can raise them up. There he is. Dash lightning. Dash lightning. Ow! Oh, no. Slow down. Ugh, Mark! Sorry, Leo, but I'm looking at dash lightning. <sighs> Phew. They're all still pointing upwards. Dash lightning. Dash lightning. Dash lightning. Bob, the builder. Oh, Dash. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Whoa! You've got a hammer and a chisel. 
Oh, I love anything to do with building. Look, Dash, I've got a crane. But you should see me, Dick. Dash, uh, we have to go. Carl wants me to test your stunt harness. And I especially love diggers and cranes. Whoa, what a gym. Uh, this could take a while. Ow, what a bucket! Dash must be here somewhere. Hey, Mum, <gasps> can you help me? Uh, sure. What can I do for you? I need you to make sure that the lights on the pyrotechnic units are still green. If they turn red, it means something is wrong. No problem, Wendy. Hmm. Wendy! I can see green lights. And dash lightning. Wendy! I got a zoom! Got a boom! Lights are green. I'll lock that in. Now, the sparks are ready to go. Here you are, Dash. Time to get ready for filming. So, what else is in this toolbox? Uh. <gasps> Safety goggles. <laughs> These are so cool. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. We don't have time for talking. We've got a film to make. Ah, uh, come on. Can I have my goggles back? Stand by. We're ready to roll cameras, everyone. Where is Muck? There he is. And this time, I'm not letting Dash out of my sight until I meet him! Whoa. 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 Oh. oh no! Jump, Dash! Jump! Oh. Look out! Something's wrong with the pyrotechnics! Everyone keep back! The sparks are falling on the light! The set could catch fire! Not if I can help him! Nobody move! We need to shut it all down. Then, put out the last of those sparks. There. Oh, now it's safe. Muck! You should never go near anything that is sparking. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I knocked over the set. And I'm sorry. I don't know why, but the pyrotechnic units were pointing downwards. That's my fault, too. I, I knocked the rigging bar, and I didn't wait long enough to check the lights. All because I wanted to meet my hero. Oh, this is a disaster, Bob. I have to film this last scene today. Don't worry, we can save the day just like Dash Lightning. Just watch us. Everything's fixed, but I'm afraid the support for the back flat was badly damaged. I could hold it up for you. But, Muck, Dash is your hero. Don't you want to see him in action? Yes, but I don't mind. It's my fault that the set was damaged. Positions, everyone. And action. And once again, I've saved the day. And the world. With a zoom, boom, lightning strikes twice. And cut. Thanks, everyone. We're done. That's a wrap. I wonder how the filming went. It was awesome. 
Thanks, Mark. Dash lightning? That's me. With a zoom. Boom! Lightning strikes twice! Uh, Dash. Whoa! A spirit level. Dash? Look at that little bubble. This way, that way, this way. Uh, Dash, I have to pack up now. This way, that Dash. way, this way, that way. <laughs> Can I have my tools back, please? Hey, is my hair straight? Let's see! Dash! Mayor Madison, I wish you'd tell me why we're here. No, 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 no. C'est terrible. This will not do. Monsieur de Souza, enchanté. Mel Madison, I'm afraid the ballroom blitz must be cancelled. Cancelled? But why? Ballroom blitz? Sylvain's hit TV dancing show. It's on tour, so I arranged for a performance here tomorrow night. But I cannot dance here. There is no atmosphere, no lights, no mirror ball. And most importantly, no sprung dance floor. What if I can get you all of those things by tomorrow night? Then I will perform the first dance with you. Do you tango, Madame Mayor? Oh, yes, Silver. I do. My mobile, please, Mr. Bentley. <laughs> Hello, Mayor Madison. Bob, you just have to make my dream of dancing with Silver and the Sousa come true. Uh, how do I do that exactly? By getting the stadium ready for Ballroom Blitz tomorrow night. But, but not just for me, Bob. For the people of Spring City. Consider it done. Fabulous. Oh. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Mayor Madison? The mayor is, uh, indisposed, Bob. I'll email you a full list of requirements. Great. I'll be on site first thing in the morning. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Have you ever built a sprung floor, Wendy? No, but I've danced on one. I had ballroom dancing lessons when I was little. Here. Sprung floors absorb shock, so they feel softer to dance on. And they can stop you hurting yourself, too. Oh, that one looks just right for Ballroom Blitz. Bob, I'm so excited about tonight. Do you dance, Bob? Ouch! Obviously not. Sorry. If you can count, you can dance, Bob. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, lovely, Mayor Madison, but I think we need to get on. <laughs> of course. Come with me. I'll show you where Sylvain wants the dance floor. I never thought I'd see Mayor Madison go all girly over some dancer off the telly. Can you start unloading, please, Leo? Yep. I'll just moonwalk this way. Ooh, you're going forwards and backwards. Moonwalking. It's a dance. Oh, let me try. You're just going backwards, Ski. Oh. I suppose I am. Can you teach me another dance, Leo? Mayor Madison said that if you can count, you can dance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, huh. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You eleven, have eleven. to count in a rhythm, Muck. One, two, three. One, two, three. I get it. Me too. One, one two, three. One, two, two three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh dear. I can't do that one. I bet you can do this, Lottie. Whoa! Sorry! Whoa! I'm dancing! Oh, I'm the wrong shape for dancing. Oh, don't be daft. Everyone can dance a little bit. It's how it makes you feel, not how you look that matters. Come on, let's unload. We put these rubber pads on the bottom layer of buttons. Then put another layer of buttons on top of those at right angles. Like squares? Good, Leo. And then we put a final layer of buttons on top at right angles again. It's a pattern, like weaving a basket. So that's 35 metres long. Ooh, watch that. It's a mirror ball to hang over the dance floor. As it spins, the lights bounce off it, like this. Oh, it's beautiful. 
I'd love to dance under that, Wendy. If we don't make a start, nobody will be dancing under it. Come on. He's near yet. Never mind. Spring City Rockets, let's practice. Don't worry, Brandon. I can't dance either. Everyone can dance, Lofty. You just need to find your own style. This way! I'm dancing! I can do it! I can! Dum dee dum dum da 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 dum dee dum dum uh, Come on, Mr Bentley! I have to be perfect for tonight! Once more, with feeling. Gently, bently, bend the knees. Oh, it's huge. Imagine dancing on that, Safi. Is this my dance floor? Sylvan! Yay! It isn't finished yet, Mr D'Souza. We need to add the plywood layers and dance surface. I would like to see this, please. Of course. Lofty. Can you fetch the plywood, please? It would be an honour, Bob. Watch us dance, Sylvan! I wish I could do that. Lofty! Uh... Oh! My dance floor! <gasps> Oh, no. Mr D'Souza, I'm so sorry. I should have known I was too big and clumsy to go near a dance floor, let alone dance on one. Please let me fix this for you. It was an accident. And he really does want to dance. Don't tell anyone, but when I was a boy, I was a little bit, uh, well... Not the right shape or size for dancing. Always knocking into things. Really? That's just like me. But I wanted to dance more than anything in my life. I refused to admit defeat. And I practiced and practiced until I became the superstar I am today. Never give up on your dreams, Lofty. Hello, my dance floor. Can you really fix it? Yes, we can. So beautiful. It's perfect. I need to get ready for my performance now. Thank you all. And you must remember always to follow your dreams. <laughs> Yo-ho, Silva! Where's my dressing room? I've been practicing all day. Look! Dum -dee. You cannot dance on this, Maria. Oh, dear me. I have no other dance to open the show. Ow! Quel disaster. <clears throat> Wendy can dance. You can? Bob? <gasps> wow. Wendy, you're brilliant. I won a few awards at high school. You just need to practice.
she's amazing. Don't you agree, Mayor Madison? Mm-hmm. Not bad for a beginner. Good morning, team. Morning, Bob. It's our last day of demolition, guys. Once this old factory is cleared, we can begin work on the new skyscraper. Great! I love knocking things down. It's so much fun. Scoop. Although not as much fun as building things up, obviously. The chimney's very tall. How are we going to knock that down, Bob? Oh, we won't knock it down, Muck. We're going to blow it up. Yeah, with explosives. Kaboom! With very controlled explosives, Leo. Oh, yeah, of course. Should we be using explosives? It sounds dangerous. Well, we've completed our demolition training course and we've got the certificate to prove we can use explosives. Wow! A certificate for blowing things up! I want one of those! Or will the explosion make a very big bang? I really don't like it when things get too loud. But I love it! Big and loud! Come on! Oh. Oh. Scoop! So, team, can we demolish it? Yes, we can! Okay, team, you work on the internal walls and girders here at the main entrance. Wendy and I will be demolishing the side entrance at the opposite end. With explosives? Not yet. One thing at a time. Right, right Bob. Bob. Ha! Nothing can resist the power of demolition scoop. Sudden bangs and crashes are making me jump. I told you I don't like very loud noises. But we're diggers and builders and lifters, Lofty. We always make loud noises. I knew, but I keep thinking about the chimney and the big explosion. And that's going to be mega loud, like kaboom! Like that. Can you not do that? What? Not even a kaboom. I still don't like it. <laughs> Lofty? Yes. No. Well, I'm a little bit jumpy, to be honest, Leo. And someone's not helping. What? What have I done? I only use the da 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 like I'm supposed to. You mean the breaker? I love the da 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 da! Oh, yes. You do. Plan. Do you want the girders to turn? I'll come back for them, Lofty. Keep them in a neat pile for now, thanks. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Scoop! Stop that! That wasn't even me! Toto made that noise! Call that a noise? 
I remember driving across Iceland with only an angry volcano for company. Now that was noisy. I think I'll go and work somewhere quieter. Maybe Bob and Wendy need some help. And Demolition Scoop is going to demolish the marbles! Bob! Bob? Wendy? Are you all right? Are you OK? I do think my gaskets can take much more of this. You need to take more care, Lofty. We were demolishing those walls just as you arrived. I wanted to know if there was somewhere quieter I could work. Quieter? We're drilling, smashing and knocking things down. That's a noisy business. This isn't like you, Lofty. Is something wrong? I suppose... <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about blowing up the chimney. It is going to be very loud, but it's the last thing we'll do. We'll let you know when it's happening, so don't let it worry you. OK, Bob. I'll try not to. Have you removed all the girders yet? Two-ton's going to take them away for recycling. I'll finish that now. Thanks, Bob. Scoop! Are you around here? Demolition Scoop! Oh, thank goodness. Come on, Bob! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Watch out, Lofty! Calm down! It was a joke! But it wasn't funny, Scoop. What happened? I was just having a joke with Lofty, but maybe I did one kaboom too many. Scoop, you should never joke around on a demolition site. I know, Wendy, but I got carried away. And now look what I've done. This is a problem. The chimney's been weakened on that side. If we blow it up now, it'll fall into the street. Oh, no! Does this mean you can't blow it up, Bob? Using explosives is the only way to bring it down safely, Lofty. But first, we're going to have to make sure it falls the right way. We'll start by patching up that hole. We're going to need a scaffold to get up there. We'll all help, Bob. Yes, and no more joking around, I promise. OK, team, this chimney is priority number one. Let's work quickly but safely. Got it, Bob. Got, Got it, it, Bob. Secure, Wendy. Well done, guys. Is that what makes the big bang? This is the detonator that triggers it. We just have to wire it up and we'll be ready to go. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Don't worry. I'm sure the kaboom won't be as loud as I said. Lofty, I'm sorry that I kept scaring you. I didn't mean to. That's all right, Scoop but I just need to prepare myself. Oh, good plan. You breathe deep, in and out, think happy thoughts. Like kittens and tiny bunnies. Yeah, just like that. All done. Sound the warning, please, Wendy. <coughs> Here goes. All together now, five, four, four three, two, one! <gasps> yeah! We did it, Bob! Good job! Phew, that's a relief. That wasn't as loud as I expected. In fact, you were right, Scoop. That was really exciting. 
Scoop? Scoop? Where are you? Is it over yet? That was fantastic! Didn't you see? Um, no. I just heard it. Right, team? Let's get going. Time to clear this site. Come on, Scoop. It's all right. The Big Bang's over. No more loud noises today. If you say so, Lofty. <coughs> ah! 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 Oh, gull. I can't believe we're really inside Spring City Film Studios, Wendy. I know. And to be working on the next Space Robots movie, I'm so excited. Take that, you big bad space robot. When I was in plays at school, I used to dream of being a movie star. Well, we're here to build, not act, Leo. Look, here comes the director. He's a bit on the small side. No, that's D11D, one of the space robots. Hi there! That's the director. Carl Parker, director. Are you guys here to work on the space robot set? Yes, and we're building the rocket too. We can't wait to get started. Whoa, there, D11D. I love working with robots. Oh! oh. oh. Sorry! But uh, they can be hard to control sometimes. <laughs> this one's definitely out of control. I don't like it. <gasps> sorry, sorry, it's not me. It's the uh, the controls. Just getting used to them, you know. <laughs> anyway, Space Robots 3 has got to be ready for the summer holidays, which means we must start filming by the end of the day. We should be able to get the set ready for filming in no time. Right, team? Right, right Bob. Bob. Sure, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, we can! What are you doing? I just had to come when I heard they were filming Space Robots 3 here. I was hoping I might even meet D11D. I can even talk like him. Beep, ba ba beep. He's my favourite. <laughs> well, I don't think he's mucks. <laughs> wow! Where is D11D? Or D1, as I like to call him. I think the director wants me in the movie. That's right, new way. Leo's in rebuilding sets, the same as the rest of us. Talking of which, Bob asked me to come and get you two. Building the sets? That's still pretty great. Lofty's got his cables crossed, Sappy. I'm going to be in the movie for sure. In fact, I better go and learn my lights. See ya. Beep, ba, ba, beep. Leo, have you really got a part in the film? Well, I definitely will have once Carl spots my acting skills. Leo, there's the director. Now's your chance to get spotted. Thanks, Scoop. D11D, watch out! There's a big bad space robot behind you. Ooh, the lens cap was on. Ha! <laughs> no wonder I couldn't see anything. <laughs> oh, hello. This set is looking great, by the way. Keep up the good work. Hmm. Now, for the moon's surface, we have two different types of sand to choose from. There's this sand, which is pretty dark, or there's this, which is much lighter. Personally, I prefer the first. Me too. Good call, Wendy. Let's go with the darker sand. Oh. Marvellous. Fantastic. I've just had a thought, though. Could it have a door? A door that opens so that space robots can appear out of it. Oh, that would be fabulous. If it's possible. Not a problem, Carl. If you can imagine it, I can build it. Oh. I quit, Scoop. I'm obviously not meant to be an actor. What? 
I think you're brilliant, Leo. Hey, look, there's Safi. Good luck in the film, Leo. How am I ever going to tell her I'm not in it? Do you want me to tell her, Leo? Beep, ba, ba, beep. Let's not tell her yet, Scoop. Remember, anything can happen in the movies. Hi, Wendy. Have you seen Leo? Um, not for a while, Scoop. Oh. Around here, Carl. Is this where you want the big robot? That's perfect, Bob. OK, Lofty. He's heavy, so gently lift. Hey. Then bring him towards me. And slowly bring him down. Down. Yes, just here. Excellent work, Lofty. Ooh. How exciting. Hi, you two. You haven't seen Leo, have you? Yeah, loads of times. He means this morning, Muck. Oh. No. Me neither, Scoop. OK, everyone. We're about to start making Space Robots 3. Everybody ready? Great. Here we go, and action! Don't worry, D11D. I'll save you from the big bad space robot. Oh, Leo. Leo, be careful! Shh, Bob, we're filming. Fear not, D1. Your hero is here. What's he doing? He's acting. Acting silly, more like. He shouldn't be up there. It's dangerous. <laughs> oh, careful of my rocket. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Listen, Leo. That rocket hasn't been built to hold a person your size. It's for little robots only. We're going to get you down, but you mustn't move a muscle, OK? Oh, I'm in the movies. I've got to move. Leo! B11D! Are you all right? I'm OK, I think. Are you sure you're not hurt? I'm fine, but look what I've done to the rocket. <laughs> Looks like that's the end of D11D. Hooray! Oh, uh, sorry. And the end of my film. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Better? I'm OK, except I'll never see Space Robots 3. And nor will anyone else. Unless we can think of a way to fix D11D. Uh, we build an all new D11D. D12D. I'm afraid a new robot would take months to build rather than hours. What about if we clean up D11D, put him on wheels and move him around with ropes? Except the audience will see the ropes and <laughs> that's not a good look for a space robot. Ew. Oh, poor Safi. Now she's never going to meet her robot hero. Hey, wait a minute. Safi can do the D11D noises perfectly. And she's about the same size. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Leo? I think so, Bob. Wendy, can you get the rocket back up and the set in shape? If Leo and I sort out the D11D problem... With the help of these guys, I can. In that case, there's only one thing to say. Action! Here we go, and action! Bubble 
Cut! Fantastic! What a great scene! OK, everyone, let's take lunch there. Thanks for saving the day, Sappy. Sappy? Sappy, are you OK in there? Oh, so now you're a big star, you're not going to talk to me. Of course I will, Leo. Come over and have a sandwich. <laughs> Remember, Leo, anything can happen in the movies. Ready to go, Bob. We can't leave without Leo. He was supposed to be here ten minutes ago. Here he comes. Sorry I'm late, Bob. I overslept. That's OK, Leo. You're here now. He was up late playing a game on his phone. Dad! It's really fantastic, actually. It's a fishing boat, you see. It... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fishing game called Furious Fish. Look, I've got the highest score. Right. It's a work day, Leo. It's time to work, not play games. Yeah, I know. You're right, Dad. I'll put it away. Hop onto two ton and let's go. Oh, see ya. Bye, Curtis. Bye, Alfred. Bye. Bye, mate. <laughs> oh, it looks like the Spring City Rockets are practicing their street dance show. Exciting! That was amazing! Oh, thanks, Bob. And thanks for building a stage for our show. Yeah, it's awesome! Where are you all going? We're working over there, Brandon, at Spring City News TV station. We're installing some important equipment for them. Spring City News are coming to film us later. Yeah, we're going to be on the 6 o'clock news show. Yay! Well, we better get to work then. Bye! Bye! Bye. See ya! Here we are, team. The home of Spring City TV News. What important equipment are we installing, Bob? Well, Leo, just about here. We're going to put a big spinning Spring City TV News sign. And up there, we're going to put a giant satellite dish. Uh, what's a satellite dish? Let me show you, Lofty. The satellite dish is what Spring City News will use to send out their TV programmes. Brilliant! They beam the TV news out into space where it meets a thing called a satellite. <gasps> Outer space! The satellite then sends the TV news back down to Earth so that people can watch it on their TVs or computers. That is awesome! So, without the satellite dish, no one can watch the news. And no one can see the Spring City rockets on the six o'clock show! Exactly. Wendy and I will fix the sign and the satellite dish. Leo and Lofty, you two work on all the lifting. Fantastic. Of course we will, Bob. Huh? Hear that, Leo? Mm. Leo? You and me are a team? <sighs> team Lofty and Leo? Team Lofty, you? Mm. Lofty, you? Hmm... Oh, no! I'm not the highest scorer at Furious Fish anymore. Look, it says someone called Natty Fred is in the lead. You'll have plenty of time to get back on top at the end of the day. Oh, sure thing, Bob. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Yes, we can. Here we go. Oh, brilliant. Oh, 
Well done, you two. You both did a great job. Bob and I are going on the roof now, Leo. Can you and Lofty get ready to lift the satellite dish, please? right -o. We'll call you when we've put the support post in place. OK, no problem. Come on, Leo. Coming. Did you hear what Bob said? We did a great job. Whoop, whoop. Team Lofty, you. Leo? Oh, uh, yes. Whoopity doo. Team Leo. We team Lofty, you. Uh huh. Lofty, you. Mm -hmm. Team Lofty, you. Oh, I just finished this game. I think Bob and Wendy want us to concentrate on the build. I am concentrating on the build. Are you okay? Yes, I'm back as top scorer. Take that, Natty Fred. Look, you can see the Spring City Rockets practising from up here. It looks like they've got Mr Bentley to make a banner for them. Wow, he's really good with a spray can. Almost as talented as me. Wendy, what are you... <laughs> it's the position for the satellite dish. I knew that. <laughs> OK, that's one loop secure. Just one more to... I don't believe it! Natty Fred is back in the lead. OK, Team lofty -o. we're ready for the dish. Uh, Leo? Bob is calling us. What? Oh, hang on. There we go. Hopefully that'll put me back on top. Hmm. Hello, Leo. Right, Bob, we're going to start lifting the dish. Thanks, Leo. Hoist up a little, Lofty. That's great. Now extend your boom. OK. <sighs> Start hoisting again. Mm. Uh, this feels funny, Leo. Should I carry on? Yes. Well, if you say so. It's escaping! Come back, dear! Ah, there's nothing like one of Chef Tatty's nice fruit smoothies and a quiet walk by the river. Look out! Ah! <sighs> well, at least I didn't spill my... Ah! Sorry! Smoothie. Oh, stretching is important if you want to avoid injuries. Ah! That's awesome, Mr Bentley. I didn't know you were so good with the spray can. Well, I do teach a few evening classes. Watch out! Oh. Ah! How did this happen? Why did you let go of the dish, Lofty? Uh, I... Um, it wasn't Lofty's fault. I didn't tie the dish on properly because I was too busy playing Furious Fish. I let down Team lofty -o. I'm so sorry. Our stage is broken and our cool banner's ruined. I've used up all my paints, too. And with the dish in the river, the Spring City Rockets won't get to appear on the 6 o'clock news show. What if I used my real fishing skills to get it back? If I work with Blocky as a proper team, we can hook it out of the river. That's a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
coming up next on the six o'clock news, an interview with Mayor Maria Mar I'm so glad the Spring City Rockets got to appear on the news. I've got some news myself. I'm top scorer at Furious Fish. You, Dad? I don't believe it. You're Natty Fred. <laughs> That's me, son. Fancy a game now you've finished work? Dad. Oh. I think Leo has had enough fishing for one day. But, um, can I have a go? Tonight is the Spring City Halloween Festival. That means we only have a day to build everything. So, listen up, team. Over here, we'll build a barbecue where guests can get their food. At the back, we'll build a trick-or-treat trail and an apple bobbing stall where they dunk their heads in water to get apples. That sounds really silly. I can't wait to see that! Over there, guests will paint faces on pumpkins. Behind you, we're going to build an entrance shaped like a pumpkin. And finally... <sighs> and finally what? What else is there, Bob? Tell us! <sighs> Floating above the party, there will be a giant ghost decoration. I love it! Ew. We don't have long until the guests arrive. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Ew. This job sounds very scary to me. Don't worry, Lofty. Halloween's not actually scary. It's loads of fun! Yeah, loads! Oh, dear. Lofty, there you are. Ew. I need you to collect the ghost decoration from Curtis. Are you sure it has to be me? Yes, please. Muck and Scoop are out collecting materials. Besides, your crane is perfect for holding it. Well, uh, yes. OK. Maybe if I try not to get scared, I can do it. Thanks, Lofty. I knew I could count on you. And remember, there really isn't anything to be scared of. Hmm. So, Leo, first, you need to paint the timber planks a luminous orange. It's going to glow in the dark. Wow! One load of timber! And lots of bright orange paint. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Wendy. We need to go and test the trick-or-treat trail. Wendy, every Halloween you try and play a trick on Bob. But you never get him. Then this year, I will. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, she got me all right. This must be the ghost. It sure is. Ah! Curtis, you made me jump. Sorry, Lofty. Right, the ghost is all ready to self-inflate. You pull a cord first, then it fills with air. So be careful not to knock the crate. Boy, what will happen? Sudden movement will trigger the cord, so the ghost could fill with air when you don't want it to. <gasps> what was that? OK, Lofty, you can do this. Don't be scared. Just pick up the crate. Here it goes. I'm scared already. Let's get this ghost delivered and quick! Lofty, where are you? Oh, I didn't lock the crate. Oh, super sticky play slime. Hmm, no, not good enough to trick Bob. Yes, this is a brilliant trick. It will definitely make Bob jump. So, what happens at these trail stops? Guests put their hand in the hay and pull out either a trick or a treat. Why don't you have a go? <laughs> hmm. Find anything? 
Yes! A Halloween cookie. What a great treat. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand. You should have oh. <sighs> oh. Who knew? Not more noises. Who's there? Okay, no one. Only me. <gasps> I'm the ghost! I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared! Yes, I am! Yes, I am! Yes, I am! This doesn't make Bob jump. Nothing will. Hey, Bob! Uh. Why don't you take a turn at this trail stop? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What's this I found? A toffee apple! <laughs> Another treat! Wow! I don't get it. The spider was supposed to... <gasps> oh! Oh! This entrance is going to be cool. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! Bob, Wendy, your ghost is here. You need to back me. Oh dear! Oh dear! What's that? It looks like a ghost. Then. <gasps> the ghost is coming! Move out, team! Now! <gasps> uh -oh. <gasps> oh no! How am I gonna get it back? This is all my fault. <gasps> I can help! I'm really sorry, Bob. I shouldn't have dropped the goose like that, only I was scared. And now you've been really brave. I'm proud of you, Lofty. Thanks, Bob. I've attached new wires so the ghost can stay here until we're ready for it. Oh, and we'd better put this crate somewhere safe. Then you'll be needing this. Yes, it was your keys that were rattling. And it was the crate that was creaking. I let myself imagine scary things when there weren't any. That's right, Lofty. There's nothing to be afraid of at Halloween. It's all about scares that are fun. Yeah, I see that now. Thanks, Bob. <gasps> oh, I can't wait for the festival to start. Then we'd better get fixing.
<laughs> well, we're all finished, and Wendy still hasn't managed to trick me. Hey, what's happening? I'm stuck. I decided to use that super sticky play slime after all. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> we trick Bob. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. <laughs> right, I better stop because I just scared myself. How are we doing, Bob? Do you think we'll be finished in time? Of course we'll be finished in time! Yes, the new wing of the Natural History Museum will be ready for when Mayor Madison comes to inspect it this afternoon. Uh, Bob, why is it called a Natural History Museum? Well, Muck, that's because it's a collection of things that you find in nature, like animals and flowers. And some of them are from past times. Like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs! That's why these doors are so huge, Leo. So that we can get the dinosaur skeleton inside. A dinosaur skeleton? Oh, cool! Mr Bentley gave me all the measurements. The skeleton should fit in without any trouble. Wow! I can't wait! OK, Lofty. Let's get these doors in place. Excuse me? Door handles. I've left the door handles back at the yard. I'll have to go back for them. No problem. Plenty of time. We're almost done. OK, then. Muck can take me. You carry on here. And when you get back, Bob, everything will be finished. Great. I'll be back soon. A real dinosaur skeleton. I can't wait. Won't be a minute, Muck. Door knobs, door knockers, door numbers. Ah, door handles. <laughs> On earth. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like it. You're making me giddy. <laughs> Cooper, stop that. I don't know what you're doing here, Cooper, but I don't have time to take you home right now. What are you going to do, Bob? You can't leave him here with Pilchard. You'll just have to come back with us to the museum while I deliver these door handles. And then I'll take you home. Um, you missed a bit there. <laughs> There. Everything's ready. Uh, what's in the bag? Oh, just my sausage sandwich. I didn't want to miss the arrival of the magnificent Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I thought I could eat my lunch while you lot unload the skeleton. If you're waiting for a dinosaur, it's your lucky day. I've got rather a large one here. Very impressive. Lovely bone structure. Right then, let's get it inside. Oh, careful now. That skeleton is 65 million years old. Thank goodness it's not a new one. Slowly does it. Hold it still a minute. I've got to get some pictures. 
see it. Uh, that doesn't look right. Uh, that is never going to get through there. What? But I gave you the exact measurements. What have you done? Oh, you told Bob the doors had to be six meters wide and three meters high. Yes. No. Oh, I, I, I meant to say six meters high and three meters wide. Oh, dear me. Uh-oh. This is very bad. The door is too short and the dinosaur is too tall. It's never going to fit inside. But it has to. Mayor Madison is coming soon to make sure everything's ready for tomorrow's opening. But there's no way that dinosaur's going to get through those doors. What about sideways? Scoop. Uh, there might be a way. If we take the skeleton to pieces, we can carry all the bones inside and then put it back together again. I don't think that's such a good idea, Lofty. We shouldn't do anything drastic until Bob gets back. But it's getting late and Mayor Madison will be here soon. I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Come along, everyone. There's a T-Rex to take apart. Yeah, this thing is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh, dear. No, that can't be right now. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. This large one must be part of the, uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem to fit. Um, what about this small one, then? Uh, part of the tail, isn't it? Or maybe the left foot? No? Oh, dear. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and width the wrong way round. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big jigsaw, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it to pieces. Wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Oh, that's where that bit goes. Oh, yes. Splendid, splendid. Now, there's no time to lose. Let's get this sorted out before the mayor arrives. Now I can relax and maybe even get to eat my lunch in peace. No! Wait! What? There's one bone missing. But there can't be. It's impossible. Where can it have gone? <laughs> Cooper! <laughs> no! What? Cooper! There's a good boy. Give us the bone. Come on, Cooper. Good doggy. Let us have the bone, please. <laughs> oh, dear me. Mayor Madison will be here any second. If only we had something tasty we could offer Cooper instead of that bone. What? Like a tasty sausage sandwich? But... but that's my lunch. Well, I think I can hear the mayor coming along now. Couldn't we just... Oh, well, um... Oh, all right. Here you are. Here, Cooper. Yummy sausage. Come on, boy. <laughs> Hi, 
team. Hi, Hi there, Madison. Madison. Well, just fancy. Spring City's very own T-Rex skeleton. Any problems getting it here, Mr. Bentley? Problems? No, no, no. I supervise the whole operation. You know you can always trust me to get the job done without any fuss. <laughs> oh, 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 gosh, oh, Cooper! Oh, Mr. Oh. Bentley, stop playing with that dog. No. I want to see the dinosaur. I never knew Mr. Bentley was so oh, fond oh, of no. animals. Get off me! Down, boy! Oh, 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 no, no, no! Uh, so, this is all we need for the Spring City Christmas display? Yes, everything else is on site. Then let's go! I can't wait to get building! Yeah, Christmas displays are the best! <laughs> OK, OK, we're going! Lofty, we're leaving! Don't be too long! There. The decorations are finished. Oh, I do love Christmas. Ah, decorations everywhere. <gasps> Except her bobs. Now I know what Christmas present to give Bob. Oh, but first, I'll have to help him with the display. Then it's back here to sort out Bob's present. Oh, I can't wait. So are the display presents. And the laser beams, too. Bob, is the base for the tree ready? Yep. Everything is ready to create the display. All we need now is the Christmas tree. Oh, where is the Christmas tree? I've got rather a large one here. The mayor is switching on the tree lights this evening. So, can we build it? Yes, we can! No, Safi. It's for Bob. And I cannot wait to give it to him. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Right, Lofty. Bob and Leo are preparing the snow machines, so can you help me hang the tree lights? Of course. Uh, oh, um, I'll just put this present down first. Did you hear that? There's going to be snow machines! Oh, wow! <laughs> Bob's present will be safe here, away from all the tools. Let's put the presents here, and then we can arrange them into a nice display around the tree. OK, Scoop. How are you getting on, Leo? Well, you said to prepare the snow, but I can't find any. Did it come in bags or ice packets? Oh, no! What if it's melted? <laughs> Leo, we're going to use pretend snow. And we're going to make it in those machines. Wow! Can you show me, Bob? Uh, maybe after you tidy up these boxes. The tree lights are going to look great, Wendy. Well, let's test them and see. <gasps> oh. Hey, Wendy, I'm about to start making the snow. Can you help me carry the bottles of fluid? Sure. I'm all finished here. Bob is here and the tree lights are twinkling. 
This is the perfect time to give him his Christmas present. Oh, how lovely. Oh. You're ruining the display. But I'm trying to find it. Lofty, you're in the way. No, it, it. Oh, where is it? Oh, never mind. Bob's gone. I'll find it later. Come on, Mark, let's finish the display. Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the fluid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Oh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines churn up the fluid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together, and that makes the pretend snow. All done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? Woohoo! I'm gonna see it snow! <laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. The display is almost finished and I've still not given Bob his present. We're gonna test the snow machines. Are you coming to watch? Oh, yeah, sure am. Definitely. Um, I'll be there in a minute. Oh, Lofty, please don't mess up the display again. I won't. I'd love to give Bob his Christmas present when it's actually snowing. Slowly and gently. Right, new plan. Give it one big. Uh oh. Again. Okay, Wendy, make it snow in three, two, Tim! Right now! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <gasps> the display! It's ruined! Oh, dear. What a mess! What happened, Lofty? I was trying to give you this present, but I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. Now I've spoiled everyone's Christmas. I'm sorry, Bob. Thank you, Lofty. My own Christmas decoration. Just like the ones on your shed. That's it. We can fix the display by covering it with snowflakes, like the ones on the sheds. And we can do it by using the broken ice tiles. And I know where we can hang this. Come on, Lofty, let's give Spring City a Christmas display to remember.
your mare. It gives me great pleasure to switch on Spring City's Christmas display in... Three, two, one... That's it, then. Everything is done for the Christmas holidays. So, Bob, you've wrapped all your presents, made the pudding and written all your Christmas cards? Um. Oh, Bob, you do this every, every year. year. So, what's the job, Bob? Well, Scoop, we're here to help Mayor Madison with her Spring City Heroes scheme. Spring City Heroes! What's that? The Mayor wants us to build something to celebrate the people who make Spring City such a great place to live. Wow! That looks cool! It certainly is, Leo. Each person who's chosen will get their own golden star with a picture of themselves inside it. Ooh! Every year, somebody new will be chosen to be a Spring City hero, and they'll get their own special star too. But, Wendy, there's no picture of anybody inside that star. That's because the Mayor hasn't chosen anyone yet, Muck. Ooh, I wonder who she's going to choose. Hmm, I wonder who I'm going to choose. Yes, so do I, Mayor Madison. Whose face is going to feature on our very first Golden Star? There are so many hard-working people in Spring City, Mr. Bentley. Absolutely. What I'm looking for is someone with talent. Oh, yes. Someone with honesty. Mm -hmm. Someone with a vision. Someone with a moustache. Oh, I'm just not sure. It's so hard to choose. Well, I'm afraid, Mayor, that you'll have to decide pretty quickly. Curtis needs to know whose face he's going to feature on the first Golden Star so that he can get cracking and make it. Hmm. Curtis, yes. Oh, tell him I'm still deciding. Perhaps the answer is easier than you think. The garage, Mom. Mr. Bentley! Oh, I'm on my way. <sighs> Helpful as ever. Mr. Bentley! Oh. OK. You three break up the old pavement. After that, we can build the raised flower beds and lay the special new star-shaped paving stones. And Bob and I will get the stage ready for when Mayor Madison comes to unveil the first star. OK, everyone. Can we build it? Yes, yes we can! can. So you're telling me that the mayor still hasn't decided yet? Yes, Curtis, I'm afraid I am. Well, tell her she needs to decide quickly. Otherwise, I won't have time to make the face to go inside the star. Don't worry, it won't be long now. I think she may have someone in mind. Somebody keen, eager to please, and, if I may say so myself, really rather good-looking. Oh, yes, of course. You mean Tilly the <laughs> Vet. Now, there's a real Spring City hero. Oh, the way she nursed my auntie's parrot back to health. <laughs> Marvellous! Ah. Ah. And how was the ice hockey today, Spring City Rockets? Brilliant! Brandon fell over nine times! It was only eight times, actually, JJ. Seatbelts on, everyone! Ready to roll? Ready to roll! OK, we're late for lunch now, and you know I hate to be late. I'm stopping for nothing. Oh, look! It's Bob the Gardener. What are they doing? Can we stop for a moment, Betsy? OK, then, seeing as it's Bob. Don't be long now. This looks interesting. What is it, Bob? 
Mayor Madison is going to choose a Spring City hero, and their face will be inside that golden star for everyone to see. Yes! So who's it going to be then? We don't know yet, JJ, but it'll be someone who's been very helpful to Spring City. I know who it should be. Betsy! Me? But, but I'm just a bus. Safi's right. You're always there for us. Oh, I suppose. Always so thoughtful. Well, I do try. Always on time. Not today, though, eh? And your seats are so comfy. Hmm. I am quite plush. Yes, Betsy. You definitely deserve a golden star. Hang on. Betsy's a machine. If a machine can be a Spring City hero, maybe it should be me. You, Scoop? Yes, me. I can scoop and break and carry and drill. It's obvious whose face should be inside that golden star. But your face is too big, Scoop. It won't fit. No, not my actual face. They'll put my picture in it, Muck. Oh, I, oh, I get it. Oh, and Curtis says he needs to know urgently whose face is going to be inside that first star. Yes, yes, I'm working on it, Mr Bentley. Tilly, hello. What can I do for you? Mayor Madison, I heard about this Spring City Hero scheme and I know exactly the person you're looking for. Finally. It's so obvious, isn't it? Just what I've been saying. Jenny the Zookeeper. What? She's done so much for those animals. Jenny, yes. She would be a very worthy candidate. I'll add her to my list, alongside Chef Tatty, Sky Sampson, Henry Corner. <coughs> oh, and let's not forget Mr Bentley. Me? Really? Oh, how very unexpected. Oh, yes, I'm sure he knows some others who'll be worth considering. Ah. Uh, oh. Testing. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Great. May Madison should be here any minute to see if everything's ready. May Madison is coming. Brilliant. My chance to show her why I should be the first Spring City hero. We've arrived, Mom. Thank you, Philip. May Madison, on behalf of all the Spring City Rockets, we'd like to nominate Betsy as the first Spring City hero. Oh, thank you, Mila. Thanks to all of you. I'll add Betsy to the list. Hmm. I reckon it should be my dad. He's great. Curtis, right. Thank you, Leo. <sighs> Bob, would you like to add to the list? Mayor Madison! Mayor Madison! Oh. Look at me! Look at all the things I can do! Watch out! We've just laid those! You think that's good? Just wait till you see this! Scoop! No! Stop! Oh, my goodness! What's happened? Scoop! You've cut through a power cable! Oh, Bob, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry, Mayor Madison. This is terrible! What about my grand unveiling? No need to panic, Mayor. I am sure I can sort this out in time. Wendy? There's a lot of damage. It won't be ready until this time tomorrow. Right. In that case, if we want any lights and sound, we'll have to use the emergency generators. Wendy, Leo, Muck, you stay here and sort out the paving stones while Scoop and I go back to the yard. OK, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Oh, thank goodness for Bob. Mayor Madison? Hmm? Testing. One, two, one, two. Over to you, Mayor Madison. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and machines. Ooh! I'm delighted to announce the name of our very first Spring City hero. 
Somebody you all know and love. Somebody who helps us all out and who is always there when you need him. And now, to reveal who will be on our first golden star. <coughs> Thank you. Bob the Builder! Huh? Huh? Oh. Yay! What a surprise. Scoop suggested you. He's a genius, that machine. Thank you, Mayor Madison. Thank you, everybody. Yay! 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 Well done, Bob. Hmm, I wonder who'll get next year's Golden Star. Well, actually, Mr. Bentley, I've done quite a bit for Spring City myself. Oh, I still reckon it should be my dad. But what about Jenny? Me? No, you should get it, Tilly. Next year, it should definitely be a machine. Oh, definitely. Someone plush. Yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! Aye aye, Captain! Aye aye, Captain! Arr! Arr! Morning all. Ahoy there, landlubber! Oh, I, I mean, uh, Bob. You all right, Mr Bentley? Just a little vocal warm-up before rehearsals. My new masterpiece, A Pocket Full of Pirates, premieres here at the Fixum Hilltop Theatre tonight. You're all coming, aren't you? Of course we are. Even better than that, we're here to update this old theatre for your fearsome pirates. Ah! Bravo! Oh, before you begin work, Bob, why not join us for some warm-ups? Well... Go, 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 Bob! Release your inner pirate. Give me a nice, loud, ooh-ah, me hearties. Um... Oh, on, me hearty! Oh, me hearties. Mm. That was not bad. For a start. I thought you were amazing, Bob. Thanks, Muck. But I'm a builder, not an actor. Give me a spanner over a spotlight any day. Now, let's get to work. You should have said it like this, Bob. Ooh, arr, me hearty. Man the mizzenmast. Land ahoy! Work the plank, ye scurvy dog. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Stop it, you're too kind. Looks like your cement mixer's got talent. Come on, Dizzy. I've got a very important performance for you. <gasps> will I be on stage, Bob? Well, your cement will be. Oh. Let's get you mixing. Ciao, ciao, break a leg. I hope they don't. It's a theatre saying, Muck. It means good luck. Oh. Choo choo, break your legs. Dizzy, we need to use the quick drying cement in the green bags so that it sets in time for the play rehearsal. That means we won't use the slow drying cement in the red bags today. OK, Bob. Green, not red. Got that. While Leo and I paid the stage, Wendy will be building the ticket booth. Ready, team? Aye, aye, aye Captain! Captain. OK. The quick dry cement set. Mr. Bentley, you're cleared for rehearsals. Oh, good -o. Actors on stage now, please. Now, Wendy and I are going to build an audience box next to the stage for the mayor to watch the show. Are you and Leo all right to concrete this path on your own, Dizzy? Absolutely, Bob. Great. Quick dry cement on this path as well, please. Trust me, I won't let you down. Oh, what a ding-dong I am. It's a disaster. <gasps> What's the matter, Mr B? I forgot the most important prop, my treasure chest. Now I have to go home and get it. You'll need someone to be in charge of rehearsals while you're gone. I suppose I will. Leave it to me, Mr B. You're a lifesaver, Dizzy. All the swords and costumes are in the red box. Got it? Not the green one. Those are for the end of the play. OK, 
Okay, Mr Bentley, red not green. Got that. As they say, it will be all right on the night. Wowie! A pocket full of pirates, directed by Mr Bentley and Daisy! Showbiz, here I come! Where are you off to? We need to start paving the path. Which cement mix did Bob say to use? Oh, uh, green not red, red not green, uh... The red one! You sure? Definitely, positively! A hundred percent certain, the red one! Okay! Silver, me gimbers! <laughs> Quiver, me gimbers! <laughs> huh? No, that's not right. Uh, sliver, me gimbers! Oh, <gasps> my cast needs me! All done, Leo! Uh, thanks, Dizzy. Pleasure, treasure, ciao! Uh, ciao! Hiya! Now let's take it from the top, everyone. I want to be able to hear every word. Places, please! And action! Land ahoy, I spy a beauty. Ciao, da, please! Treasure Bay! Land of booty! At last we'll strike it rich by thunder and fill our ship full of plunder. Arr! More piratey, please! Arr! That's it! Brilliant! Avast! Here comes the pirate we all fear! Here comes the pirate we all fear! Brandon! Uh, Dizzy, where's my evil pirate hat and sword? Uh, green, not red. Uh... Dizzy, I'm out of cement! Coming, Leo! Your costume's in the, in, in the green box, Brandon. You sure? 100%. Dizzy! Back in a minute, pirate crew. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Here comes the pirate we all fear. Captain Beefcake, beastly buccaneer. <laughs> <laughs> Love your evil pirate hat, Captain. Huh? That's so funny. Hands off me gold, ye scurvy horde, or you'll feel the force of me fearsome sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! Wrong costume! Take that! And that! <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster! Stop! Stop! The costumes are in the red box! Whoa! Good. But I think we should have some time out from rehearsals until Mr Bentley gets back. Ooh. Wow, Dizzy. You really brought the house down. Don't worry, everyone. It'll be all right on the night. Promise. Hi-ho! I'm back. Oh, uh, is this wet? It'll be set by now, Mr Bentley. I used quick dry cement. good old. Looking good, Bob. Huh? Wait a minute. Those are slow-drying cement bags. Uh-oh. Mr. Bentley, hold it right there. Do not take another step. What? Oh, no. Oh, can somebody take this box off my bottom? I'm so sorry. I was distracted by the play and told Leo to use the wrong cement. Oh, Dizzy. Slow-drying cement won't set until tomorrow. How will the audience get to their seats? It starts in less than two hours. We'll have to cancel the show. Oh! I'm so sorry, everyone. The show's over before a single pirate has walked the plank. That's it. We'll build a wooden path over the wet cement with the spare planks. Great idea, Dizzy. Uh, thanks. I'm full of them. Right, mateys, can we fix it? Aye, aye, aye Captain!
done. Everyone ready for the show? Not JJ. He's lost his voice laughing so oh, much. We're one pirate down. It's a disaster. Well, it doesn't have to be. Bob could play JJ's part just for tonight. I couldn't possibly. Not without a few directing tips from me. <sighs> Ooh, are me hearties. What's that glow? Um... Avast! It's treasure! Yo ho ho! Oh, yeah. Avast! It's treasure! Yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! ho, ho! Oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> well done, Bob! You were spectacular! <laughs> In fact, you'll be perfect in my follow-up masterpiece, A Village Full of Vikings. It's a musical! What do you say? Yo-ho! No. Oh, Chef Tatty's done it again. His play cafe is going to be a huge success. I certainly hope so, Wendy. Thanks to all your hard work. I thought you were coming later, Chef. Oh, I'm too excited. I can't wait to see it all finished. It will be all finished in time for my party, won't it, Bob? Well, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! All together, meet again. We're working as a team. It all looks splendid. Glad you're pleased, Chef. Have you decided what colour you'd like for the walls of the disco room? No, but I've narrowed it down to red, blue, green or yellow, if that helps. Not really. Why don't we paint some test colours on the walls to help you choose? Fabulous. I'll pick one when I come back to do the party food. Oh, talking of which, I'd better go and buy all my ingredients. Will there be music at the party tomorrow? Aye, I'll put on a CD for everyone to dance to. You can't be serious, Chef. You need a proper DJ. What's a DJ, Wendy? Someone who's in charge of the music. They decide which songs to play, then play them in a special order. And the really good DJs create mashups, Muck. What, like mashed potato? No, a mashup is when you mix two songs together, like this. Sing a bit of your favourite song, Chef. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I make the best spaghetti. The recipe I'll never forget. What do you think? Wow. Chef, you can really sing. Now, here's a recording I made of Wendy and my dad rehearsing their band last night. And they can really play. Thanks, Chef. And my phone's got an app that can mix together Chef's singing and Wendy's playing to make this mashup. Oh, I made the best oh, that's amazing! Could you make some mashups just like that for the party, Leo? Oh, wow. Yes, I'd love to. You're on. Fantastic. Ow. See you later, DJ Leo. Well done, Leo. Yes, that's brilliant, Leo. But we need to get back to work. Wendy, can you help me finish off in the kitchen, please? No problem. What can I do, Bob? You help Leo, please, Muck. Sure thing, Bob. Are you OK, Leo? Well, the party's tomorrow, and I don't have much time to make all those mashups for Chef Tatty. Leo, we're nearly finished. Why don't you leave that till later? But I've just had a brilliant idea, Muck. Listen. <laughs> Maybe not. Ah, but what if I tried? Have you finished that arch yet, Leo? 
Sorry, Bob. I was a bit distracted. OK, well, just get that arch secured, and then can you paint Chef's colour samples, please? Right away, Bob. Oh, and Muck, when you've finished in here, can you clear up any rubbish, please? OK, Bob, no problem. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four colours for Chef to choose from. That's it. I won't just mash up two tunes. I'll use four. Um, now, where did I leave my phone? <sighs> ah, there it is. OK. Oh, Bob, Wendy, think I've messed up. <gasps> oh! oh, Leo. Chef's not going to be very happy. How on earth did you do that? I had this great idea for a mashup. I must have stepped in paint without realising. I know you're excited about doing the music for the party, Leo, but there's still work to do. Sorry, Bob. I should have just been concentrating on the build. I promise it will never happen again. OK, but we'll have to paint over those footprints before Chef gets back. I'll get the floor paint. No, Stop. Leo! <gasps> what is that? Uh-oh. Uh, what do you think of my brilliant new floor design, Chef? I thought it looked like dancing footprints. But if you don't like it, I can easily paint over it again. No! Don't you dare! I love it! You're a genius, Leo. And you've helped me decide what colour the disco room should be painted. What colour is that, Chef? All the colours! One blue wall, one red, one green and one yellow. We can do whatever combination of colours you like. And I want more footprints everywhere. That was a good day's work, everyone. Even you in the end, Leo. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I'll make sure I just do one thing at a time from now on. That sounds like a very sensible idea, son. You ready for our rehearsal, Wendy? Certainly am. But what we really need is a singer, Curtis. Well, I can't sing, but I can make cups of tea while you rehearse. Great. Good luck with your mashups, Leo. Thanks. I bet you're excited about tomorrow, Leo. Uh, yeah. You don't sound very excited. I thought I had loads of ideas, Muck. But now I've got time to concentrate, I realise I don't have any at all. Oh, Leo, I love that song. Me too. But I don't think I'll be able to make anything else that good. Wendy and your dad are amazing. Yes. They are. They really, really, really are. Oh, thank you, Muck. You've given me a brilliant idea. High five. <coughs> Ow! Oops. Thank you so much for all your hard work and brilliant ideas. You're very welcome, Chef. The party's bound to be a huge success if your mashups are as good as your floor designs, Leo. Thing is, Chef. Yesterday made me realise it's much better just to do one thing at a time. But once we'd finished here, I didn't have enough time to plan for your party. So, I've had an even better idea. Will you be our lead singer, Chef? Leo's mashup of you singing over our playing made us realise you'd be perfect for it. What do you think, Chef? 
Are you ready for your first gig? Hey, I've always wanted to be a rock star. You really are a wee genius, Leo. I love this wee guy. Oh, yes, I am the Master Chef Teddy. As soon as daylight comes, then I'm in my kitchen having so much fun with sardine sorbet and chocolate peas. I'm the one making a fishy ice cream or a sausage and marshmallow dream. Oh, I'm proud of you, Leo. It's really brave to admit you can't do something and then ask for help instead of letting someone down. Thanks, Bob. I think I'll stick to building and not DJing in the future. Practice makes perfect. Just look at your dad and Wendy. I bet you could be brilliant if you practiced in your spare time. Maybe. But we need to stop chatting and get on with our work. What work? It's all finished, and I'm going to enjoy the party. Didn't I tell you? Since Chef's playing with the band, I promised we'd serve the food and do all the washing up. So, do you want to wash or dry? <sighs> Tangerine mustard and sushi fondue. I'm the maestro for mixing up food. Ah, oh, super snowboarding, kids! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> JJ, don't forget to bend your knees. And Mila, lean into the slope as you turn. Here comes the jump. Get nice and low. Ready? What are they doing, Bob? It's called snowboarding, Scoop. It looks brilliant! I wish I could go snowboarding! <laughs> hey, watch out, Scoop! Oops, sorry, Leo! I'm not going to win first prize at the Winter in Spring Festival tonight with a headless snowman. Oh, I love Winter in Spring. It's my favourite event in Spring City. <laughs> I can't understand why anyone would want to celebrate winter with a festival. Ooh. Give me a nice hot beach in summer any day. I always have fun at the beach. Swimming in the sea. Playing with a beach ball. Building. Sand castles. Oh, I see. Hi, Bob. Wasn't that totally extreme? Yes, totally, um, extreme. Wait till you see our snowboarding stunt show at the festival tonight. It's going to be wicked! Ah, right. That does sound very wicked. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bob. <laughs> Hiya, Team Bob. <laughs> Here for a spot of snowboarding. Oh, yes! Can we, Bob? Well, we're not here for snowboarding, Sky. We've come to finish the chairlift. It will carry you all the way up the hill, so you won't have to climb up the slope after every run. Cool! Awesome! If all goes to plan, and I can't see any reason why it won't, we'll have finished the chairlift well before your stunt show tonight, so you'll have plenty of time to practise on the slope. Oh, super! Thanks, Team Bob! In the meantime, I guess we'll have to hoof it up the hill. Come on, kids. OK, team. We're going to build the top station where passengers will get off the chairlift. Then we'll put up the cable for the chairs. Before we all catch a cold, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Great job, team. Let's have a break. Mm. Hi, Bob! Oh, oh. Wow! The chairlift looks fantastic so far. You've earned yourself a free snowboarding lesson. Oh, well, I... Come um, on, Bob. Um, OK. It can't be that hard, can it? Well, how do I look? Totally wicked. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, first 
Let's try standing up. Here, take my hand. It's okay, Sky. I'm all right. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Um, actually, I probably could use a hand, please, Sky. Oopsie <laughs> Daisy. Okay, let's try a nice, gentle S shaped turn. Just like Mila and JJ. Hi, Bob. Bye, Bob. Looks easy. than an S shape. <laughs> Ooh. Is it supposed to hurt this much? The most important thing is to concentrate. <laughs> Woohoo! Bob? Uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Uh oh. Bob! Oh, oh. oh, what? Whoa! Like winter. Wow! Bob was brilliant at snowboarding! Can I ever go on the snow too? I've only got snow chains for Lofty. You can't drive on the snow without them, or you'll slip and slide all over the place. But Mock's allowed on the snow and he's not wearing snow chains. That's because his tracks give him extra grip. Sorry, Scoop. Oh, I would have been brilliant at snowboarding too. Okay, Lofty, lift the crossbeam up to me and I'll secure it to the support tower. Fire it up, Leo. We're good to go. Okay, Bob. The chairlift is ready. Wicked! Would you snowboarders like to take the first ride? Yes, please. Thanks, Team Bob. Maybe I could have a really quick go on the snow while no one's watching. What an amazing view. I could see my house from here. <laughs> Hiya, Teen Bob. <laughs> this is fun. Look at me, everyone. This is totally extreme. That is extreme. Extremely dangerous. You're not wearing snow chains. Are you okay up there? <laughs> We're fine, Bob. This is awesome. Hold on tight. I'm going to have to hit the emergency brake. But Bob, the closest brake is all the way down at the base terminal. Then there's only one way. Watch out for my snowman! Sorry for ruining your ski run. I just wanted to have fun on the snow like everyone else. Maybe I could make it up to you by building you a really big jump. Yes, please. That would be totally... Extreme? Yeah. Sounds like a plan, Scoop. We'll set up the night skiing lights while you build the jump. Let's go.
your very cool city mayor, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to the Winter in Spring Festival! Hooray! Hooray! prize in the snowman contest. Meet Snow Bob. It's modelled on you. <laughs> it's like looking in a mirror. Hey, super snowboarding, Bob. You caught some big air up there. <laughs> Thanks, Guy. Maybe winter's not so bad after all. <sighs> Although I am still looking forward to summer. Great. <laughs> then I can teach you how to water ski. All right. That does sound very wicked. An excellent job so far, Bob. But the mayor wants a private preview tonight. Riverdale are opening their dinosaur experience next week. And she wants to be sure we've got something better. Oh, we'll be ready, Mr. Bentley. Good show. Ah! I remember building this path, Bob. It winds all the way down to the cliff. I thought we finished it. Not quite, Scoop. The mayor's decided this will be Fixum's new dino park attraction with life-size models of dinosaurs. What's a dinosaur? They were huge lizards that lived a very, very long time ago. Uh, how many dinosaurs will there be? Five. An Ankylosaurus, <gasps> an Iguanodon, a Stegosaurus, oh. and a Pterodactyl. Uh-oh. That's only four dinosaurs, Bob. And there'll be one special Triceratops model that can move and roar. Whoa. That makes five. So, lots of dinosaurs are coming. The dinosaurs are only models. Don't be scared, Muck. I'm not scared. We need to add gates, signs, and position the dinosaur models along the route. Let's get going, team. What was that? A dinosaur? Oh no! A dinosaur might get me! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh fuck! Did you think I was a big yellow dinosaur? No need to be spooked, Muck. I don't think I like dinosaurs. Actually, when I was a small boy, I was a bit frightened of them too. You were scared, Leo. Do you know how I got over it? How? I pretended to roar like a dinosaur, as loud as I could, like this. Roar! Try it, Muck. OK. <gasps> like that. <laughs> that sounded fierce. Do you feel better? A little bit. Thank you, Leo. We need some more wood chippings to finish this path. Would you two go and fetch some? Sure, Bob. If you're waiting for a dinosaur, it's your lucky day. Wow, which dinosaur is this, Bob? It's called an iguanodon. And there are lots more to come. Here's the star of the show, Bob. One Triceratops at your service. Brilliant! Thanks, Tutum. OK, Lofty, place it among the bushes. Great. Now to test it. Now, the Triceratops has to go here because this is where we installed its power cable. Is this the one that moves, Bob? <gasps> Can we say... It's not moving. 
Well, the model has built-in detectors at the front. It only moves when someone gets close. Try it, Scoop. Ooh! Great! OK, guys, can I leave you to put the rest of the models in their places while I paint the entrance gates? Sure, Bob. Will do. Great! The Triceratops does look quite scary with those horns. Mm-hmm. How about we surprise Leo? How can we do that? He won't expect to see a moving dinosaur blocking the path. Oh, dinosaurs. Remember, Muck, they're not real. If you say so, Leo. Leo, come see what we've found. Hmm. Here's Scoop. Scoop, what have you found? Oh, Mark, what have you done? I'm sorry, Bob. I forgot that it was only a model. I thought it was real. It definitely sounded real. Why was the Triceratops in the middle of the path, guys? Sorry, Bob. We weren't trying to scare Mark. We just wanted to surprise Leo. He said he was scared of dinosaurs. But I grew out of that a long time ago, Lofty. Now we've lost the Dino Park's main attraction. Huh? And there isn't much time before Mayor Madison arrives. Bob, look! Don't go too close to the edge, Scoop. The Triceratops is only halfway down the cliff. And in one piece! Hmm. Now, if we can reach it, we can still get the park finished in time. But how? It's a long way down. I'll abseil down the cliff. <gasps> or some. OK, Scoop. You'll be my anchor. So you'll need to stay still and keep your brakes on. Understood, Bob. Lofty, you lower your hook when I say. Yes, Bob. <laughs> OK, Lofty, you can lower it down. Right to. Take us up, Lofty! Bob's a dinosaur riding cowboy. We did it! <laughs> it's not over yet, Lofty. We need to hurry and get the park finished. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Mayor Madison, we're almost ready for your visit to Dino Park. Excellent, Bob. I'm so looking forward to seeing it. As am I. The beasts of the Cretaceous era are a special interest of mine. Especially our prized Triceratops. The Riverdale models don't move, you know. Oh, sorry. I've forgotten something. Just wait two minutes. OK, guys, we're done. Not quite. Huh? Huh? Why is it not making any noise? The fool must have broken its roar. And the mayor is here. There's no time to fix it. Wait! I know someone who can make a good roaring noise. Who's that, then? 
Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, Bob. I'm just glad you finished the park in good time. Shall we? Oh. Oh, very impressive. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic! Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Isn't it meant to make a sound? Ooh. Yes, well, I'm not certain Triceratops would have sounded like that. It sounded very realistic to me. <laughs> I'm not pretending to be a dinosaur. Hmm. Where did Scoop and Lofty go? <laughs> Were you scared? Uh, maybe just a little? I wasn't. I was, uh, helping Lofty. OK, I admit it. Muck can make the scariest dinosaur sound. Don't you think, Bob? 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 Yes. He, he's not bad. <laughs> he's not bad at all. <clears throat> not bad at all. Sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Bob's telling us about the train line we've been building. Oh, let me tell everyone, Bob. I wrote everything down. Yep, here they are. Notes on the train line. Oh, oh sorry. These are my college notes. Oh, wait, here they are. No, that's my shopping list. Oh, found them. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Why don't you tell everyone, Bob? OK, team, let's look at what we've built so far. As you can see, Station 1 at the main railway station is complete. Also completed is the track that runs out to the Skyscraper Station and Central City Station. From there, the track runs over the river and onto here, our last job, finishing the Stadium Station. Anything else we need to know, Bob? Yep. The first train departs at five o'clock this evening. And lots of passengers have bought tickets. Including me. So, let's get to work. Yay! Let's go! First train is at five o'clock. are we doing? Oh, hang on. I definitely noted it down here somewhere. Ah, yes, here it is. Bob wants us to finish the last few jobs here. And those jobs are... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Tile the platform, paint the safety lines and fit the roof. So, Dizzy and Lofty, you need to... Tiles. Lift the tiles up to the platform? Yes. And yes on it. You got it! Uh, Leo? When would you like me to lower the roof? Oh, OK. I'll wait here. I'm sure Leo will tell me when he's ready. Right, Leo. I'm off to check on the train. I'm helping to test drive it at 3 o'clock. Now, the journey takes five minutes, so I'll arrive here at 5 past 3. What did you say? You're not staying to help? You'll be fine. Just concentrate on one job at a time. 
What's that? Oh, no. I didn't tell Dizzy where to pour the cement. All done. And I didn't tell Lofty how many tiles. Ah, Bob. I've checked the train. All its magnets are working. Magnets? Yes, Scoop. The train is a maglev train, and it's worked by magnets. The ones in front pull the train forward, and the ones at the back push it forward. Isn't that amazing, Scoop? Scoop? Uh-huh. Amazing. Surely it's time the roof went on. I've been waiting for ages. So now what are you doing? Clearing up the cement so it doesn't drip onto the tracks. Tiny here, Leo. Can I lower the roof now? Leo here. Hello up there. Should I clear the broken tiles? Yes, please. That will be great. Leo said yes. At last the roof can go on. Here goes. <laughs> I thought you were clearing up the cement. Yes, you're right. Oh, but wait! I didn't answer Tiny about the roof. Hello, Tiny. Leo here. Now, where shall I put the broken tiles? Move it down and to the left. OK, Dizzy, let's finish clearing up the cement. Down and to the left? Oh, if that's what Leo wants, no problem. <laughs> no, Tiny! Back it up! Back it up! I wish he'd make up his mind. Time for some tower power! Uh-oh. That is not good. Uh. Wendy, the train driver's here, so I'm off to help with the test drive. OK, I'll come and check that the signals are working. Did you just say that you're test driving the train? Yes, we're taking it right across Spring City. Wow! How fast will you go? As fast as the fastest land animal in the world, a cheetah. Oh, I want to go fast like a cheetah! Oh, Scoop. <laughs> Maybe stick to being a digger. I need to fix the track. But maybe I should clear the cement first. Uh, Leo, look at the time. Oh, no. It's three o'clock. Bob is test driving the train. And it's coming to this station. <gasps> but the train can't drive over that. It has to be straight. The signals are all working and ready. And the train's ready, too. Let's get this test drive started. Good luck. Leo, what are you doing? Trying to find my notes on what to do in an emergency. And when will the train get here? about Come on, Leo. Focus. Okay. First, I need to stop the train. But how? Maglev 1, this is Leo. The track's broken. Break now. Break now. Warning received loud and clear. Applying brakes now.
am so sorry. I put the team in danger. All because I couldn't concentrate on one job at a time. You managed it in the end. And saved the train. But what are we going to do about the station and the track? There's just enough time before the train makes its first journey. So, can we fix it? Yes, we can. Yes, we, we can. can. Driver, please. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> wow! Look at it go! Amazing. Bob, why aren't you on the train? I lost my ticket. Oh, Bob. Curtis to get your headlamps fixed. Yes, Wendy. I'm blinking everywhere I go. See you later. <gasps> oh. Whoa! Oh, careful, no! No! Wrong way! One Betsy and four Spring City Rockets to visit the yard. Hey, Hi, Wendy! Hiya! Well done, Safi, for winning the designer statue competition. Come on, the team are waiting for you. Morning, all. Hope you're ready for action. Here she is, the designer of this marvellous elephant. Oh, well done, Susie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Oh, thank you. I drew the elephant to look like Mr Trunkers because he's my favourite toy. But last week, I was playing in the park and I lost him. Oh, oh dear. So oh, oh, Mr oh, Trunkers. Oh, that's a shame, Safi. Let's hope you find Mr Trunkers very soon. At least you'll have your statue to remind you of him. Right, Wendy. Now, Safi, your elephant statue is going to be a water fountain. It will stand right outside the shopping mall, so everyone will see it as they go in and out. And it's going to be ten feet tall. That's taller than two of you. Wow! Thank you! Right, team, let's get going. And, Muck, I'll need you to collect the elephant as soon as it's ready and bring it to the shopping mall. Oh, I would love to. Thanks, Bob. We're going to have to work quickly, team. Spring City News is interviewing Safi by the statue at tea time. Can you build it? Yes, we can! Dry. Now we can build the wall. Mix up that cement, please, Dizzy. Right away, Bob. Are you sure you want me to take these bricks back to the yard, Leo? Yes, Scoop. I'm making sure that the site is clean and tidy. OK. How am I doing, Bob? I've got to see my college teachers tonight and tell them about all the jobs I do to help you. You're doing fine, Leo. But I do need to build the wall. Oh, with those bricks. Scoop, come back. Scoop. Safi, your elephant looks amazing. OK, Lofty. Slowly and carefully now. Righto. All done, Wendy. Thanks, Lofty. Now, will you pick up the three bottom sections for the statue to stand on, please? They're in a crate round the front. I'll be with you in a minute. Sure thing, Wendy. See you later, everyone. Bye. See you later. Bye. Time to go, guys. Come on, I'll walk you to Betsy. Thanks for taking care of my elephant, Mark. He looks brilliant. See you at the ball. Oh. 
I'd better back up and try again. Betsy, want to see Sappy's elephant? <gasps> oh, no! I've spoiled the elephant. Oh, I should tell Sappy. Uh, Betsy, is Sappy there? Oh, yes. She's inside, chattering on about her wonderful elephant and how pleased she is that you're looking after him so well. Oh, no. I can't do it. I can't tell her. So, are you showing me this elephant then? Oh, uh, no, sorry, I can't. I, um, uh, I need to go! Hmm. Oh, dear. <gasps> After we've picked up Sophie's mum and dad, we'll go on to the mall. I'm Yay! so excited! Oh, I can't wait to see my elephant! Oh, I'd better tell Bob what's happened. And... finished. Freya, how's the wall going? Great. Now to test it. Oh, let me do this, Bob. Tonight I have to tell my teachers about how I help you check things are ready. OK, just give it a... Oh! Gentle nudge. Oh! Or maybe I should say, Bob, the elephant's had a bit of an accident. <gasps> huh? Mr Trunkers? Is that you? It is you! Hello, Mr. Trunkers. I'm Muck. I... Oh, no. That sounds like Betsy again. Betsy, can you make an extra stop? I need batteries for my camera. Dad, I want to go to the mall and see my elephant. But, Safi, I've bought this camera especially for today. I want to take lots of pictures of you and your elephant statue. Oh, dear. He can't take pictures of a ruined elephant! Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Maybe it's better if no one sees what I've done. OK. Ready when you are, Leo. This way, Lofty. And stop. OK. Now, release! Well done, Leo. That was perfect. Hear that? I was perfect. I'm so going to ace it when I see my teachers tonight. <laughs> well, I did all the lifting. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, never mind. Yeah, check me out. Now, all we need is the elephant. But where is Muck? Thank you, Curtis. My new headlamps are super. No more blinking for me. No one will see the elephant here. They're all at the mall. Hello, <gasps> Muck. <gasps> Hello. Wow, nice elephant. Did you know that its paint is scratched? It was an accident. I was going to tell Bob, and then I thought... <laughs> Muck, Bob here. You need to bring the elephant to the mall. Over. Oh, now what do I do? Don't panic, Muck. It's only scratch paint. Just tell Bob. He'll understand if it was just an accident. Muck, where are you? But I feel terrible if I own up. More terrible than now. Oh, no, you're right. Thanks, Roly. Muck here, Bob. I'm on my way. Let Safi see her elephant like this. I have to get to Bob before they do. He'll know how to fix all this. Is that Mark? Yes, and he's going very fast. Everyone, move out! Slow down, Mark! Now! Oh. Oh, I'm not stopping! Look out! No! Oh. oh dear! <gasps> oh. oh no! Look at my elephant! It's all my 
almost tea time. The news crew will be here any minute. Oh, I should have owned up straight away. Then we'd have had time to fix the elephant. Now we've just made it all worse. Oh, Safi, don't worry. I'm sure we can fix this. Let's get going. Bob, I think I found Mr Trunkers at the park. But I left him there. Why don't you go and get him once we've finished? I'm sure Safi will be very pleased to see him. Off we go! Look who I found today. Mr. Trunkers! Ooh. Thank you, Mark. I'm so sorry for damaging your elephant. It's all right. I know you didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm really proud of my team. Muck learned from his mistakes. Leo got ready to meet his teachers. <gasps> Oh, no! My teachers! I forgot all about them! Now I'm late! <laughs> the course will start near the pier and end over by the car park. We'll make places along the seawall for people to watch the race, Sky. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> I love the beach! Me too! And we'll build the commentary tower and the winner's podium over there, too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Any questions? Yeah. What are we building again? It's a motocross course. A race for motorbikes over lots of obstacles that we are going to make with sand here on the beach muck. Oh, wow. I'd love to join in. Me too. I bet I'd be the fastest. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's just for motorbikes. Oh. You can always come and watch. I almost wish I'd entered the race myself. Oh, you can still apply. Maybe I will. But we need to get this course built or there won't be a race. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well done, everyone. Oh, I really wish I could be in the race. Me too. So I've decided to enter. Yay! Oh, go, Bob! My dad will be happy to get your old bike ready. It's not old, it's a classic. Will you come and cheer me on even though you can't join in? Oh, definitely. No prob, Bob. You'll be there, won't you, Wendy? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world, Bob. It's a good job you've kept it in such good shape, Bob. Yes. I hear you're racing tomorrow, Bob. That's right. I don't imagine I'll do very well, but it's just a bit of fun. And as long as my bike makes it around the course, I'll be happy. Hmm? That was supposed to come off. I'm really looking forward to it. We've got a mystery entrant called the Masked Biker. Oh, really? I wonder who it is. Oh, hi, Bob. How's your bike looking? Great. I'm really looking forward to racing, especially against the Masked Biker. The Masked Biker? Is that a superhero, Bob? No, Muck. It's just someone else in the race. <laughs> it's too tickly! Then why is he wearing a mask? He must be hiding his face because he doesn't want anyone to know who he is, Muck. Ah, he can't be any good, then. You're bound to beat him, Bob. <laughs> I'll just be happy to finish the race, Scoop. Hello, Curtis. Is Bob's bike ready? Nearly. And I've got some transfers to make it look really special. 
definitely this one. I bet even the mysterious masked biker will be impressed when they see that. That one's Leo's favourite too. He's so excited about the race, he wishes he was old enough to enter. <gasps> Look! Ah! Who didn't do it? <laughs> what? Leo is the masked biker, Muck! Curtis just said so. No, he didn't. He said Leo wants to enter the race, but he isn't old enough yet. But if Leo wears a mask and pretends to be someone else, then he can! <laughs> oh, Scoop, you've got a wonderful imagination. Mm. It looks a bit challenging, doesn't it? Are you nervous, Bob? I'd be really nervous if I hadn't ridden for as long as you. No, I just hope my bike doesn't let me down. I bet the masked rider has a much better bike and loads of experience. No, he doesn't. <laughs> huh? Muck means he can't have because he isn't as old as you. Oh. Thanks, guys. But how... No. Hello, Curtis. Come to the garage. Yep, I'll be right there. Curtis needs me to try the bike. We'll see you back at the yard. Oh, the course looks so brilliant. Yes. I really wish we could be in the race tomorrow, too. We can't be in the bike race tomorrow, but we could have a little machine race now, couldn't we? <laughs> All right, then. Oh, dear. Oh, Mark, Scoop! What have you done? Bob, we're so sorry. We only wanted to have a race like you. I know, Scoop. But now there might not be a competition. Oh, no! I've been so looking forward to seeing you win. It'll be dark soon. I don't think there's time to put this right. Then we'll work all night. Please, Bob, let us do this for you. Yes, Bob. Scoop's right. We can do this, can't we, Leo? Yeah. You don't get out of the race that easily, Bob. Uh... Huh. Right, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I know you can still win the race. Thanks, Scoop. But I don't imagine the masked biker was up all night. Yes, he was, Bob. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, we didn't know whether to say or not, but Leo is the masked biker. <laughs> Goodness, just when I think you two can't get any more daft. Hmm. But I suppose that could make sense. Wendy, where are you? Hi, Bob. I just wanted to let you know I'm running a bit behind, but I'll definitely be there for the race. OK, don't worry. Hey, did Scoop tell you his crazy theory that Leo is the masked biker? Yes, but don't let that put you off. May the best biker win! Thanks, Wendy. Bye! Welcome to Fixum's first ever beach motocross race! Now, let's meet our competitors. First up is David North. Followed by Julie Walker, Bob the Builder, and finally, the mysterious Mark Biker. Yes, there he is! Go, Leo! Oh, sorry we're late, everyone. Huh? Leo? But if you're here, then who's...? Good luck, competitors. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Come on, Bob! It, Bob! It's a great start from Bob the Builder, followed by David North and Julie Walker as 
they come to the first turn. of our winner. Hi, Bob. <gasps> no, it's Wendy. Oh, you knew, didn't you, Dad? Who do you think got our bike ready, son? That's great, Wendy. Yeah, woohoo! Yeah! Well done, Bob. Thank you, Mayor Madison. Why the mask, Wendy? I thought it'd be fun. Besides, everyone loves a mystery. Well done, Wendy. Yes, the best biker really did win. Bob, can I have a go next? We're going to build a beach today, team. And this is the perfect place to put it. A beach? Here? But Bob, aren't beaches things you find at the seaside? And uh, do beaches have sand? Yes, you're both right. But we're building a beach here just for the summer using sand from the seaside. We're going to make a city beach so people can take a break from their day to enjoy the summer weather. Ooh, so they can sunbathe and play games and things. That's right, Lofty. It'll just be like any other beach. Not just like any other beach. Our city beach has got to be a blue ribbon beach. What's a blue ribbon beach, Mr Bentley? A blue ribbon beach is the best kind of beach. Safe and clean for the children to play on. No dirt, no mess, no rubbish anywhere. Don't worry, Mr Bentley. We always leave everything clean and safe once we're finished. That's good, Bob, because when the inspector comes, it has to be the cleanest, tidiest beach Ever. Uh, hold on, Mr Bentley. I needed that. Sorry, Bob. Can't take any chances. Just one piece of stray litter could cost us the blue ribbon. Oh, Mr Bentley, look. You've missed a bit. Oh. Right over there. Oh, no. Right, team. One blue ribbon city beach coming up. That's right, Lofty. Are you sure it's in the right position, Bob? I don't want it to be untidy. It's spot on, Lofty. Keep it coming. Are you quite sure? After what Mr Bentley said... <laughs> hey, Muck! Steady on! We have to keep the beach tidy, and you're spilling sand everywhere. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> it's OK, Muck. But it's got to be in the right place. This has got to be a clean and tidy blue ribbon beach. We'll have plenty of time to tidy up the beach before the inspector comes. But first, we have to build it. OK, team, let's go. Sunshine yellow and seaside blue. These beach huts are going to look great. And the paint should dry in no time on a sunny day like today. Oh, dear me, no. 
Bob, Wendy, careful with those paint pots. We can't have paint spilling all over the place. It'll leave stains on the beach and spoil everything. Don't worry, Mr Bentley. It's water-based paint. Oh? It washes off easily with warm water. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, my wheelie bin! Oh, dear. We'll never get clean and tidy at this rate, Muck. Sorry, Mr Bentley. The Blue Ribbon Inspector could arrive at any time for the inspection. In fact, they could be here already. Really? Oh, yes. The Mystery Inspector could be anyone who comes near the beach. So keep alert and please keep everything clean and tidy. Oh, oh that tickles. Oh, hello, Gull. Mr Bentley says the inspector could be anyone who comes near the beach. But who is it? <gasps> no, probably not. Not them either. But no, wait! What if there are two inspectors? What if they've got cameras hidden in their sandwiches? Maybe not. Maybe they're just having their lunch. Look out for the inspector, go! <gasps> oh, the inspector! He's here! That must be him! Oh no! Oh, the, the inspector! The inspector calls! Huh? Be careful, Muck! Stop! Ah! Oh, Muck, what are you doing? The inspector. What's going on, Muck? He's over there, taking photos of the beach. See? It's the Blue Ribbon Inspector. Huh? He's a bird watcher, Muck. I think the only thing he's inspecting is the bird life. Oh, so he's not the blue ribbon inspector after all. No. Oh, I panicked, didn't I? I think you did. But why? There was no need to. Mr Bentley and Lofty are so good at keeping things tidy, you see. And I'm just so messy. I thought if the beach wasn't clean and tidy in time, we wouldn't get a blue ribbon. But I've told you before, there will be time to tidy up afterwards. We always leave our building site safe and clean. Tidying up before we've finished means it'll take even longer to get it done. Yes, I see that now. Will we be able to finish the beach in time for the inspection, Bob? Yes, if we work steadily and don't panic. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. That's the last of the rubbish for the skip. Off you go. Oh, dear me. Look out! Huh? The blue ribbon inspector's coming now! <gasps> the inspector! Right, Muck. Let's get off the beach quickly. OK. <gasps> <gasps> Litter! I'll get it! No, Muck, leave it! <laughs> <laughs> So, here is our pride and joy, the brand new... <gasps> what am I thinking? It's uh, this way, actually. Uh, no, no, don't look back. Uh, don't look back. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, no, don't panic. Got to pick up the rubbish. How? Um, mm, uh, oh, I know. Mila, JJ, Brandon, quick, come here, please. What's up, Mark? Need some help? And then further to the east, we can see here... Oh, oh, no, no, where are you going? We've got to clear this up. Use your buckets and spades. Sure, Mark. OK. That 
exit! Quick as you can! Uh, oh. It's too late, isn't it? We won't get the blue ribbon now. Never mind, Muck. We did our best. I panicked again, didn't I? Maybe just a little bit. But this time, you tried to put it right. And well done for getting the Spring City Rockies to help you clear up the mess. And there's still a lovely beach we've built. We may as well enjoy it. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> It's not going home time, is it, Betsy? No, it's ice cream time. You deserve one after all that hard work on the beach. Ice oh, cream! Jump aboard your very own ice cream van. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. Ding-a-ling-along. Ding-a-ling-along. Hmm. Crumbling battlements. I think that sandcastle could do with fixing up, don't you, Wendy? <laughs> Looks like a job for Bob the Builder to me. May I suggest one small improvement? What? We got a blue ribbon after all? Yes. The inspector said that never in all her time had she seen such efforts from the whole community to keep a beach clean and tidy. Oh, I can't believe it. That's brilliant. Well done, Team Bob. Now, where's Muck? This is for you to look after, Muck. Thank you for helping us get a blue ribbon for our city beach. Well done, Muck! Bravo! I'm glad we got it all cleaned up. But don't worry, Muck. Our next job is a messy one. Ooh, yippee! I love making a mess! 